Oh, the UST, we start with daily chart. Okay, if we, we refer to our analysis, we, we were looking for the price to break this top. And as we can see, you know, almost near the top. Now what we wanted, we want to see whether the price can break and continue or not. Okay, in this case, if we move to forward chart, as we can see, we have been looking for buy, if I put here, we have been looking for buy when the price was within this move. And, but what we can see, the way it's moving is not really fast, it's like quite corrective. But what we want to highlight here that if we put this one to in relative to each other, they make this show the divergence as well here. Okay. But this is for our information in case the price reverse. So what we want, we want the price, we, I mean, we're looking for buy, to pray, price break and continue. Okay. May we show the example similar to what we have here, right? The price was moving, we get this down move, it was, the, this one was moving slowly, but where the price broke, broke the it's moved really sharp. Okay, this is just as an example, what we're looking for, we get this down move and this one, if we get the buy set up, what we want, we want the price to break the top and continue. But if it is not moving, we don't take the, I mean, we just take out the trade. Okay, if we move to one hour chart, as you can see, based on one hour chart also, we have a divergence. Just the only, we need to be aware about this in case there is a reversal. Okay, how we can get the trade? One of the option is to have entry above this. Okay, a bit, not exactly, maybe a few pips above. What we want, we want to price tag, break and continue. If you see tag in one or two hours is not moving, we take out the trade because it depends on the traders whether they want to take this trade or not because the possibility of the price, I mean, it can break this top and continue is there. That's why we want to, if we get the, we can, we want to get the trade because as you can see, whatever the trade we have been, I mean, we could get within this move all was uh, like very slow and moving in terms of very corrective, okay? What we want, we want the sharp move, okay? And other things, if the price drop one more, then maybe we can get any trades at all within this. With the sharp or flag, we can trade it. Okay, anyway, we just follow, we see whether we, the price can sharply break and continue or, continue or not. But if we see the price is moving uh, very corrective, then we don't take the trade. We, I mean, uh, if we get the trade, we take out the trade or we don't take the trade. But the one thing I need to highlight, because right now I mentioned we can put the trade above this a few pips. I think it's better we put the trade at exactly at the top because if we put, uh, what's the different from here is six. Almost 14 pips is a different, okay, within this gap, if I put this one here. All right, the gap is 14. It depends on the traders, whether they wanna get the, put the above this or here, it depends on them. Okay, but whether they put here or at this level or here, what we want, we want the price break and continue. Okay, anyway, we just follow the chart and see whether we can get the breakout of the top and continuation or not. Thanks.